Steumann. And last week, I surveyed a list of 100 top producing loan officers across the United States of America. And I asked them, what was the number one thing that was holding them back from being able to get to that next level, to being able to close more business? And I wanted to share with you the top five things that they wrote. Now, it was an open-ended survey. It wasn't pre-selected answers that were in there. It was just basically a survey that said, what's the number one thing holding you back? And they typed whatever in there. So I wanted to share with you the top five answers. The first thing that loan officers said, and an overwhelmingly majority of loan officers said that was holding them back from being able to do more business and close more deals was the amount of paperwork that is required in the industry these days with HVCC, with 4506s need to be verified, chain of title need to be verified, uh, core logics, underwriters undoing everything, even with systems like Encompass, which are extremely reliable on the loan officer doing a lot of the work front end so that the processing department and underwriting department moves smoothly. It requires a lot of the loan officer's time and energy just doing paperwork, things that in the past weren't really necessary. Before, I know when I was originating loans, I filled out a bunch of paperwork, the application gave it the processor, and she did the job, and I know that's not the case in today's market. So that while there's nothing I can do short of an act of Congress happening to reduce the amount of paperwork you have to do in your mortgage business these days, the solution I can offer you is to free up time elsewhere. The things that you do that are redundant that take up your time, such as answering emails, uh, giving the same old uh, things that you have to say over the phone, making phone calls, all that. Put email signatures together that do a, a mass message that make a templated message where you only have to do it once, one and done. Make video messages that get your point across that keep customers in the loop to where you don't have to continue to make those phone calls, leave voicemails, chase them down, play phone tag. Do other things that free up your time. That way when you're done doing the paperwork section, which takes a lot of your time, you're actually done with the majority of your work and you have that extra free time to start looking to close more business. Now, the number two thing that loan officers across the U.S. said that they needed to be able to get to that next level and close more business was leads, which is crazy to me because leads are available. According to NAR, National Association of Realtors, 64% of Americans own a home. Now, that, of course, translates over to Facebook. If you own a hundred, if you have a hundred, if you own a hundred friends, right? If you have a hundred friends on Facebook, then statistically, 64 of them should should own a home. Now, some of them are going to be married and things like that. And so you've got to split for that. But let's just say 30 out of 100 people that you're friends with on Facebook own a home. NAR also tells us that every 49 months, the average person buys or sells a home. So if you're thinking about those two things, then you've got 30 loans per 100 friends on Facebook that are going to need to buy, sell, or refinance, basically that can use your services. And we're only talking about Facebook alone, right? When you apply that to LinkedIn, sites like listedby.com, revestor.com, truly a Zillow, all the different places that you can prospect out there, you really shouldn't be saying that there's a lack of leads out there because matter of fact, there's more leads than the market can actually handle. The number three thing that was killing loan officers' business and keeping them from being able to close more deals was appraisal values. Now, I can't go out there and choke your appraisal, appraiser for you. And it doesn't look like anybody's going to be able to get HVCC undone. So what the thing that I can tell you to avoid that problem so that you don't spend all your time putting a loan together, getting it ready to close, only to be killed by an appraisal value, is for you to align yourself with better realtors. Find more quality realtors and less quantity re realtors. If you were to work with 20 realtors and they're 20 mediocre or mid-level producing realtors, then you'd understand that every deal counts and your value is spread out over 20 people. However, if you were to focus your time in cultivating a relationship with five top producing real estate agents and they relied on you and you relied on them and you worked together as a team and you were able to give them your time, the same amount of money that you would spend, the same amount of time that you would spend as well on those 20, but you're able to dedicate it to those five and actually have them be better performers than they were before. You find better quality agents. That'll keep you from running through the appraisal value because if you got the right agent and the right investors, the appraisal value should never be an issue. But I know a lot of you are running into that. Just surround yourself. Don't be scared. Surround yourself by the best. Go after the best. Don't waste your time with the mediocre. So the number four thing was that they need more agents, right? I need to, I need to be able to connect with more agents. Well, first of all, every agent that's in real estate is on Facebook, LinkedIn, and, and a lot of times Twitter and Google+. Plus. So you can connect with them there. You can prospect with them there. You don't have to drive around, drop off rate sheets, because agents don't really care about that anyway. They care about marketing. So the way to get the solution for you to be able to connect with more agents is use social media, but more importantly, bring value and results to those agents. 
Don't just bring a rate sheet and money. Hell, there's a bank on every corner. And you say, well, I offer exceptional customer service. Well, if you don't, you shouldn't be in business, pal, because it's 2013. Agents care about marketing. See, loan officers, we're, con we're controlling, and we understand that we're the most important person in the uh, real estate transaction. However, we look at it from a monetary standpoint and understand the financial side of it. Whereas a real estate agent's job is not to sell a house. A real estate agent's job is to market a property right their job is marketing so loan officers focus on money agents focus on marketing well agents don't care about money because they can get it on every street corner available out there so what you have to do as a loan officer is you have to understand marketing so that you can bring value to that agent's business and uh, be able to understand marketing and help that agent market better more effectively and be a liaison that's RESPA compliant that'll help them make more money and the fifth thing that loan officers said that was holding them back from being able to make more money was the fact that they needed marketing help. Uh, so many of us have relied on companies, lower my bills, lending trees, and all these other places to send us leads, and we're just tired of competing. We're tired of relying on our company. We know that self-generating uh, loan officers produce higher uh, margins. We also know that self-producing uh, loan officers also get paid higher commission splits from the companies they work with too because the companies don't have to spend money on their advertising fund. So there's a lot of benefits. And the way that you can get marketing help is to get clarity on what works from an expert. And as I stand in front of you today, I'd like to present myself as that expert that can help you, the loan officer, consistently close over $2 million a month. I'm talking about how to properly and ethically seduce the right real estate agents to stick their hand up via social media, email, and other mechanisms that are absolutely free and say, hey, Mr. Loan Officer, I understand that you're in the mortgage business. I want to work with you. I like your style. I like what you're doing. I've done it with loan officers for the last three years on a daily basis. They've got agents coming to them and it allows the loan officers that I work with to be selective on who they work with so they can cultivate that relationship of five badasses versus just 20 normal real estate agents. If you'd say you'd like to learn more about this and you're interested and understand exactly this process that I can show you, sign up for a free strategy session below. Fill out the form right below this video where you're watching it. And if you're watching this on YouTube, just click the link right below the video. Fill that form out. It'll come directly to me. My assistant will be in touch with you. She'll schedule a time for us to get on the phone and talk about your business, what you can do to improve. And then when we're done with that, if it looks like we might be a fit to work together, I just might make you an offer. So I'm looking forward to talking with you and uh, learning about your business and I promise you I'm a good listener and the biggest thing that you're going to be able to take away from our free strategy session is clarity and exactly what you should do and a plan that you can strategically and immediately put into action as soon as we get off the call. So I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day and oh by the way don't forget to share this video with your peers on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or wherever I greatly appreciate it and plus let's just bring the value everywhere and let people know what we're facing in the industry. Later!